Well, earlier today, President Biden signed the Respect for Marriage Act into law, aiming to safeguard gay marriages across the U.S. Now, Linda Schmidt joins us live from the newsroom with what the law means for Americans going forward. Linda. Yeah, hi there, Stephen Natasha. Well, first of all, it means protection and security for gay marriages. Now, it was the U.S. Supreme Court that sparked fears over the summer that gay marriage could end up becoming a target after the court overturned Roe v. Wade. Here we go. The crowd of thousands erupting in cheers on the South Lawn after President Biden signed the Respect for Marriage Act into law. The new law intending to protect gay marriage if the Supreme Court would ever reverse its 2015 decision that legalized same sex marriage. This law and the love it defends strike a blow against hate in all its forms. And that's why this law matters to every single American. Congress passed the law last week with the support of some Republicans. It was in response to comments from Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas in June. After the high court overturned Roe v. Wade, Thomas said the court should revisit other decisions, including the legalization of gay marriage. This shouldn't be about conservative or liberal, red or blue. We know that, you know, the vast majority of Americans support um, marriage equality. Attorney Sasha Bookert is with Lambda Legal, an organization protecting gay rights. Bookert says the law was needed. It secures all of the federal rights protections that come with marriage. Just a really welcome step forward to protect, you know, um, over 500,000 marriages across the country, you know, to make sure that uh, people can move through the country without fear that they're marriage is going to be disrespected. Now, the new law also protects interracial marriage, and although it does safeguard gay marriage, churches will still have the right to refuse to perform marriages. Natasha, back upstairs to you. All right, Linda, thank you.